one thing I want to tell people, always have your camera. Always. Don't leave home without it. Take it wherever. I had it with me that day. So did other people there. And they basically came and they interrupted the meeting in a show of force to show we are the ones here. You know what I mean? We run the show. And we will interrupt your meeting. We will ticket your cars for being parked 12 and a half inches from the curb. And we will pull out our pink rulers. About a half inch. Yeah, I guess it's about a half inch over. 12 inches. It's a clear retaliation, guys. Clear retaliation. Uh, uh, basically, see basically a grown, see man, a grown man beating, beating a mentally a ill, mentally Ill, 30 Ill, 30 year old father of five, father six, of five children, six children named Lawrence Rogers, Lawrence Rogers uh, in a uh, Wagner's uh, parking lot in the city of Rochester, Dewey and Dewey Park, 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 Park Avenue. And, uh, and uh, you see, you him, see put him all, his, all weight, his weight on one knee, on one knee on the back on of this man's neck. And, uh, and he lost uh, consciousness, and an hour later, he was pronounced dead in Rochester General, 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 General Hospital. So after that, so I just went hard, hard, went hard, and I put him on the film, film. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, I was arrested. You know, I was arrested. 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 Okay. 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 Because what, because I, did what is, I did is, um, um, it was a little bit different than Emily Good's case, Good's case. But it was in all four. I don't know. I don't know. has been around. has been around. Less time, less time. You know, since all four, since all four, I don't think it's going to be too long, too long. All four, all four. Um, um, I, I not I, only aired that, 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 that show, that show on public access, on public access, access and any access, 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 access,
the judge is not going to give you the downside of that. He's going to give you the year. This is my attorney. This is my lawyer telling me this. So what do I do? I got kids. At that time, my, my oldest one was uh, three. And then I had a newborn that was born in all three. This was all four. April all four, you know what I mean? So what do I do? I took an ACD. RPD Exposed is a half-hour show highlighting acts of alleged misconduct by the Rochester Police Department, most recently the shooting of Vandy Davis in a drug raid. The show includes interviews with Davis's sisters as they revisit the scene of his death, a death police call accidental, but they call murder. The documentary also shows a black man being roughly handcuffed and questioned by police officers for police officers. The show's producer says it's an example of racial profiling, and he says the show is proof of a pattern of abuse on the part of the police department. David Vara, the producer, was out handing flyers downtown today, hoping to generate interest in his show and changes in the police department. Being a minority, you know what I mean, in Rochester, it's like, I live with this, you know what I mean? I've been through it. I know people that have gone through it firsthand. And, uh, you know, firstly, it's about time someone comes out here and does something like this. It's about knowing, not personally, because I wasn't born here, but first, secondhand knowledge I do have of it what it is to live in Cuba. It's about knowing that the police can knock your door down and you don't have recourses, really. They can beat your ass. You, don't, you, you can't sue them. It's about knowing what it is like in the police state, which my dad knew. And that's why, that's why he's my hero. And that's why, you know, that's why I got him right there. And that's why I miss him every day, because that's what I learned. That's what, you know what I mean? And he instilled in me. My, my, my father's, which I'm going to get it tatted up when I get back. My father's favorite saying was, and this is exclusively his saying, rest in peace, Mario Bada, was rights are not asked for. Rights are not given. Rights are fought for each day. And that was his thing.